In this video, I want to help you understand the difference. What is PDF linearization or fast web view or PDF streaming? We're going to go through each of the terms and see how we can improve loading and user experience of dealing with PDFs. So here I'm just kind of building up on the existing knowledge that we have done in previous uh, web viewer series videos. So I have just a react sample running. Uh, the links are in the description of the video. You can kind of take a look uh, at the repo and just kind of follow along with me. Now, in front of us, we're loading a nine page document. Now, this, this document is not particularly large, but you know, what happens if we're dealing with really large PDF file sizes? What if we're dealing with something like uh, Income Tax Act here, and it contains 3,278 uh, pages? Now, one of the things that this file is not particularly optimized uh, for web or even streaming. So if you kind of if you want to check, you know, whether or not the file is optimized, you can kind of go to the properties of that specific file. And you as you can see that the fast web view is no. So what we can do with PDF Tron library is we can go ahead and make that fast web view a yes. And I'm just going to show you what the difference in loading time uh, is going to be. So to do that, I actually put this file into the public files uh, and this is going to be acting almost like as a file storage server. However, the files can be residing on your S3 bucket or uh, you know Azure storage or Google Cloud, wherever, wherever you store your files. And then we have our kind of web viewer sitting right here and it's looking for files under PDF Tron about. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the uh, income tax act. So we're going to load uh, kind of quite a bit a number of pages. And before I do that, I want to pop open my network tab and just to see, you know, what kind of activity we're getting. I'm going to again make this a little bit easier so uh, you can see. Okay, let's go ahead and do that and switch it to income tax act. Okay, great. So now, as we can see, let's take a look at how it's going to be loading that file. Okay, so the file is loaded, and let's just make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, if you take a look at this kind of network um, tab and the waterfall of this, that it went ahead and downloaded the whole 20 megabytes in one go. Now, maybe that's okay for you know file sizes that are 20 megabytes, but if we're dealing with file sizes that are larger, uh, or even this file is going to benefit from that, we can actually go ahead and break it down into chunks. And to do that, all we got to do is go ahead and uh, resave it with the linearization option set to true. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead back into my React app, and I'm going to make a kind of save button that would go ahead and automatically linearize the file for me. So to add a button to the web viewer, I'm going to go ahead under UI customizations and I'm going to go into header and we have adding a custom save button. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code over. Okay, so and just going to swap out the logic here, you know, and replace it here. All right, perfect. So now what this is going to do is going to go ahead and add a button to my header and currently the on click doesn't contain anything. We're going to go ahead and fix that. So I actually kind of wrote this code ahead of the time. You can find the code here uh, if you go under open save document, save document, and kind of downloading uh, with a linearize option set to true. Um, however, you know, I just kind of wrote it up here and just copy it over into our on click here. So let's kind of go ahead and kind of step through what's happening inside of uh, this code snippet that I just pasted. So we're adding a button to our header and then inside of it we're getting the document from the doc viewer. Uh, we're setting up some of the save options uh, where we're passing the flags uh, to be true for the linearization and the download type is going to be a PDF. Uh, we're then kind of waiting to get the file data with the following options. So we'll just kind of go through and do a resave and then we're creating a new array out of that data that came back. We're creating a blob out of that array with application PDF MIME type. And then here I wrote up a quick function uh, to download the file. So we're just kind of going ahead 
and passing a blob and a file name creates a link, clicks the link, and then after that, it probably is going to be different in your environment. Uh, so you would just probably save the blob directly to the S3 and then retrieve the blob. But you know, just for demonstration purposes, I created this uh, download file. If you are doing this, make sure you invalidate the link afterwards. And then it downloads the file, and it actually I'm calling it Income Tax Hack Fast Web View, just so we're going to test some of the differences uh, with that file afterwards. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of see now what's going to happen. Uh, so I resave the app, and now I'm going to hit Save button, and it's going to take a little bit of time. And the reason it's taking a little bit of time here because it's grabbing the whole file in memory of the browser and then kind of going through and resaving it uh, with a linearization option set to true. Now, linearization allows us to stream the file in chunks, um, kind of break down a, a single PDF file instead of serving it as a whole kind of 20 megabyte uh, payload, we can actually break it down. And what the web viewer can do is it can interpret the chunks coming in and start rendering them out as they come in instead of having to wait for the whole file to load. Uh, so it downloaded to my downloads folder. And as you can see, the file size difference is about the same. There is not too, too much uh, difference between them. But let's actually go ahead and take a look what's going to be the difference time in the loading of those two files. So I'm just going to drop it under Files, Income Tax Act, and Income Tax Act Feb, uh, Fast Web View. Um, and I'm just going to close this tab right here. And now uh, we actually don't need uh, that option uh, anymore. So I will just kind of get rid of it here, just to simplify things. And then instead of opening Income Tax Act uh, PDF, and I'm actually going to put it back onto the network where you can still see that it's uh, loading it as a whole thing. Um, and I'm I'm going to switch it to Income Tax Act Fast Web View. OK, so now we save the file and reload it. And as you can see on the network pane, that instead of kind of sending down the whole file uh, as one payload in 20 megabytes, we actually have this kind of uh, small chunks being loaded. And some of the chunks are actually you know 1.7 kilobytes, some are 1 megabyte and so on. And uh, this is much, much better, right? Because the user started accessing the file uh, right away, and they made smaller kind of requests. And you, as you can see that the request is now 206, which means partial content. And if we actually take a look at the file uh, back with you know kind of Adobe Reader desktop, so let's go ahead and rebuild it in Finder and open it up here we can actually see that if we go under properties of this file, that now the fast web view is enabled. Now, one of the better practices for this is to probably do this either as your user is uploading the file and you can kind of set up a serverless uh, Lambda function that kind of gets executed every time the file gets kind of dropped into your bucket. Um, or you can do it client side as well with web viewer, just like I've shown you. And you know, at PDFtron, we're able to do it both client side and server side. So we just kind of try to see where it makes the most sense for linearizing and optimizing your files. And then after that, you can now definitely see the differences between kind of loading a uh, PDF file in a single chunk and the user having to wait um, as long as it takes to load the file before accessing it, or breaking it down into smaller chunks and kind of streaming it over just like a YouTube video you're watching right now. Thank you so much for watching.